To ensure Canadians had a basic financial foundation for their retirement, the federal government introduced the Canada Pension Plan, or CPP, in 1966 as a mandatory savings plan financed by employer and employee contributions. At that time, all benefits depended exclusively on current contributions. This model worked well when there was 6.5 workers for every retiree, and lifespans were such that the typical career was longer than a contributor's retirement. But by the mid-1990s, it was clear change was needed, as a dwindling Canadian labour force struggled to support an ageing population. Without changes, the CPP would run out of money. To ensure it would be there for future generations, the federal government and provinces agreed to substantial reforms. They increased contribution rates and created an independent investment manager that was accountable to government and the public, called the Canada Pension Plan Investment Board, or CPPIB, to generate long-term investment income to help pay benefits. As a fund, every day we'll face the ups and downs of stock markets, bond markets and private markets. So the fund will have times when it goes up and the fund will have times when it goes down. Our job is to outperform those ups and downs and over the long run to deliver the best risk-adjusted returns that we can for Canadians. It's those long-term returns that ultimately matter for the sustainability of the Canada Pension Plan. And in fact, if you look at the value of the fund today, more than half of its value today is due to the investment returns generated by CPPIB. Every three years, the independent Chief Actuary of Canada reviews the financial state of the CPP fund. The latest report confirms that the CPP fund remains financially sustainable for at least the next 75 years, assuming an average 4% return. CPPIB's return since inception is comfortably above this required benchmark. To learn more about CPPIB, including its performance and investment holdings, please visit cppib.com.